Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. We're so happy that you could watch us and spend this next hour or so with us. We're going to start out with a song called Afrobeat.
Great. Um, thank you, Broadberry. Thank you, Lucas, and all the staff and everybody that are here. Uh, it sounds incredible in this room right now. <laughs> and I hope it sounds great. And I know it sounds great out there. And thank you for uh, all the organizations that have joined in the uh, and, and jumped on this feed and are broadcasting it as well. We really appreciate all the support. Uh, we have someone who's two people who are very important to the Richmond music scene, and very important to me. Members of my trio, we have Devon Harris, DJ Harrison on the drums. Hey, everybody clap at home, I can hear you. And we also have Andrew Randazzo on the bass. Andrew Randazzo on the bass. Charles Owens trio, we're 10 years in now, almost. And uh, it means the world to me to be here and to play for you. That was a song called Afrobeat that we uh, have basically been writing on the gig. And shout out to another Richmond uh, star bass player, Cameron Ralston. He was on the gig with me and Devon when Andy couldn't make it one, and he came up with that bass line. <laughs> so I have to give credit to Cameron Ralston, who's one of my favorite people and bass players. Shout out to Cameron Ralston and the Ralston family. Um, so we're going to continue now with a song by Herbie Hancock. It's one of our favorites. This is called Tell Me a Bedtime Story. Thank you. 
Tell me a bedtime story. Oh yeah, cool. Looking at the set list. So uh, I grew up listening to the radio in the 70s and I love this song by Todd Rundgren. And it's called I Saw the Light. So this is our arrangement of I Saw the Light by Todd Rundgren. We hope you like it.
Mm. Whew, yeah. I saw the light by Todd Rundgren. Uh, Devon let me know that, and make sure this is true, Devon let me know that uh, Todd Rundgren did all the playing of all the instruments on that too, on that track. Mm-hmm, yeah. And so, modern day Todd Rundgren right here, but better. <laughs> Todd Funyun, Sandy just said. All right, well, we're gonna do a, a Jimi Hendrix composition now. This is called If Six Was Nine.
Shout out to Kermit the Frog for uh, introducing all of us to that song, Rainbow Connection. Also, shout out to the amazing bass playing of Andrew Randazzo. Everybody give him one a nice clap at home. That's my man. Andrew Randazzo wrote a bunch of big band arrangements uh, for my last album, which is called the Charles Owens Trio 3 and 13, and uh, it's streamable everywhere purchasable on Bandcamp, and uh, through me, I can send you a CD. But uh, this, it featured this trio throughout the whole record, but on the second side of the record was a big band, added 10 extra horns to the trio, and uh, Andy wrote all the arrangements, and uh, it's one of my most proudest achievements, <laughs> is putting out that double album. First side is just trio, recorded at Devon's studio, Jello Stone, the now famous, we always knew it would be, Jello Stone Studio in Richmond. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, that was uh, uh, why are there so many songs about rainbows. Anyway, we, we put out a video. <laughs> we put out a video uh, a couple days ago featuring a Led Zeppelin song called Misty Mountain Hop. And it was really cool. A lot of musicians that don't, that can't play in public have been going online and using technology to create videos with their friends and they don't have to be in the same room. And there's been an incredible output of that kind of material. And I have joined the fold as soon as, it's, as, soon as everything started where we couldn't be together anymore. I immediately started making videos along with all my friends and all these guys and it's just been an amazing learning experience. And so I really like how Misty Mountain Hot came out. So. We're going to play live <laughs> together. So, Misty Mountain Hop, Led Zeppelin.
we've been playing that for hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that was great. We'll love that. Oh, let's see how much time we got. Has it been 48 minutes already? Feels like five minutes. Because this is the, really, the first time we got together and played real strong, real nice. Ah, feels really good. Thanks again, Broadberry and everybody involved in, in getting us on this stage. Ah, couldn't imagine a better place to be right now. Um, cool, we doing, uh, we're going to continue with uh, an Anita Baker composite. Well, it's not a composite. She didn't write it, but she made it famous. Uh, this is called Caught Up in the Rapture.
Thank you. 
We're going to thank you so much for being here tonight, uh, everybody out here making this happen. We really, again, want to say thank you to everyone here. The sound is beautiful. The video is beautiful. Um, I want to thank again also Andrew Randazzo on the bass, <clears throat> Devon Harris on the drums. These guys are my brothers. Uh, they mean a lot to me. It's really great to uh, compose music for them and arrange for them rather than just a bass player and a drummer, but or, uh, compose for Devon and Andy. It's really great for a composer. It's a luxury, um, and so I'm grateful for that and many other things uh, about today. Yeah. Um, this felt great. We're going to play one more song for you. Uh, this is a Duke Ellington composition called Angelica, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thanks again, everybody, for making this happen, and we'll be back soon. We want to do another one of these soon, so we'll get back in line. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks again, Broadberry. Thanks for everybody watching and donating. Good night.
Good night. Thank you, Andrew Randazzo, Devon Harris, Charles Owens. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much.